Hi, my name is Richard Harbage. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the CTO of a company called Tutalead. And I wanted to share one of the announcements from uh, Microsoft Inspire, which is that a first line or frontline worker experience um, called updates is now uh, generally available uh, for customers to use. Tutalead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? Now this is an interesting uh, set of experiences that are really designed for frontline uh, workers where incident responses, maybe um, you know, forklift check, health checks, um, you know, reporting an issue with staff, things like that can be uh, quickly and effectively reported on say a mobile device and that those can then you know, be actioned with a variety of processes on the back end. So these are really important things when you think of that return to work, return to safe work environments, where we can use the digital tools to improve the employee experience. And um, without further ado, let's just kind of talk about this really briefly with a couple quick screenshots. Um, so if you've never seen updates, again, this capability, um, what it what you have is a few other options. So first, let me acknowledge, if you wanted to build your own version of something like this, you have the ability to do that with Microsoft Power Platform or with Teams from an app application development perspective. For many years, we would help customers build these kinds of solutions. In fact, in the m365ideas.com, m365ideas.com idea book that has a bunch of ideas in it, we actually have a few of these kinds of status report, check-in style um, uh, apps and experiences that you can download and install yourself, right? If you wanted to kind of take Take that sort of GitHub repo and then expand it and extend it uh, based on the community contributions. Now there's um, there's this experience, which is a pre-built one, Microsoft pre-built, kind of set up for you that you can uh, tweak and modify and essentially create this uh, sort of updates experience. So you can see a few examples of updates. You know, we start off with an incident response team saying, hey, we had this incident. Um, how are we going to tackle it? You know, there's sort of the click through of the incident response. There's a form, right, to fill out the incident response right then and there, perhaps take a picture, whatever it is you need to do. Um, then that incident response is, of course, tracked through um, Power Automate. It's presented to various people within the experience. Or again, we use Teams bots, lots of different options. So in this particular example, a pre-built engine that does that. And then we can actually view that update, take those actions around that update. Everyone's referring to the same incident in this instance, and then reviewing it, approving it, taking those actions. Um, those experiences aren't limited to like one incident as an example. You can do things like see, okay, I want to see floor updates. What's the um, you know, number of people who have submitted, who hasn't submitted, you know, during this time cycle. Um, things like on our incidents, you know, what are the new uh, submissions for incident reports that haven't necessarily been processed yet? Um, and what should we look at there? Um, so lots of really useful data on the back end for reviewing and re managing and reporting on these things uh, for different stakeholders who are part of that updates process. And of course, all these experiences that I've mentioned of work on mobile, but they also work within the Teams experience for those who are more at a desk or wanted to manage these things at scale. Or maybe, you know, if you're in a bit of a hybrid work experience where sometimes you're doing that frontline work, sometimes you're doing other things, you have the ability to use both of these models. Um, so where we've seen these kinds of solutions have a big impact are things like the workplace inspection or work site inspection if you're in construction. We have quite a few customers in construction and engineering. So there's lots of different inspiration you can get from this. You can try and use it yourself. Perhaps the managed templates that you can create yourself are a really good baseline. Uh, perhaps you need something a little bit more robust. And again, you can always go to m365ideas.com to get some more ideas and inspiration from that. But yeah, one of the announcements, very exciting from uh, Microsoft Inspire, is that the updates capability um, that's available within Teams and the Microsoft 365 framework is now uh, generally available for people to experiment with and use. You don't need to be in the preview uh, anymore. It's uh, generally available. I hope this has been helpful for you. And uh, uh, if I have any other additional questions, feel free to reach out. Bye for now.